Another factor that affects the stability of a charged species is the size of the atom that bears or with the charge. Like our electronegativity trend, um, in terms of the electronegativity of the atom that bears the charge, size of the atom is also a periodic table trend. So we're going to, instead of looking across the periodic table, we're going to look vertically on the periodic table. And we're going to go down from fluorine to chlorine, bromine, and iodine. So let's write out these four acids, HF, HCl, HBr, HI, and all these could react with water as a, as a weak base. And I'm just going to write dittos here so we don't, can write these a little faster. And this will set up an equilibrium between uh, this acid, HF, and the base water. And water can use its lone pair, pluck off that proton, the uh, HF bond breaks and those electrons go on fluorine, and we form our conjugate base. I'm not going to show all those lone pairs. And we'll get fluoride plus H3O plus. Let's do this for the rest of these. With HCl we form chloride plus water. For HBr, we form bromide. And then for HI, we get iodide. So these acids, as it turns out, have different acidities. And we can see that with their pKa. So HF has a pKa of around 3. HCl is about minus 7, and then these don't change so much. Uh, HBr depends on where you look, but maybe minus 9 and minus 10. But there is a trend of uh, weaker and stronger. So why do we see this trend? Um, we see this trend because the size of the atom that bears the charge is changing. So again, to look at neutral molecules like HF, HCl, HBr, and HI, it's very hard to look at them and just say, oh, I, I know it's going to be more acidic. It's much more illustrated if you find the charged species like fluoride, chloride, bromide, and iodide, and then analyze those because these are the species that kind of bear this burden of having some kind of formal charge placed upon them. So fluor what this tells us, if, if HF is a weaker acid, that means fluoride much, must be the stronger base. Why would that be? Well, fluoride is kind of small relative to these other species. And of course, iodide is large, or it's at least the largest in this series. So HF has, um, when it's deprotonated, forms a conjugate base that's a relatively strong base. Why? Because this is a small compact anion and that negative charge is highly concentrated on that tiny fluoride and that's unstable. It's unstable means it's reactive. Reactive how? Well, we're talking about the base. So it's more reactive as a base. It is a stronger base. Chloride is larger quite a bit larger, and because that size, uh, that negative charge is less concentrated, it's more diffuse, this then is a more stable base. F bromide continues a trend, it's even bigger as we move down the periodic table. This is bigger, and then iodide is the biggest of all. Therefore, its charge is the most diffuse. It's, um, it's the most stable, again, most stable how? Most stable as a base. So this is the weakest base that we've shown on the page. Weakest conjugate base means HI is the strongest conjugate acid. So these are size trends that we can identify from the periodic table, and they're very useful in identifying how we talk about charge of um, uh, stability of charged species.